Here we go. Five laps remaining in the X1R 300 for the Cars Racing Tour. Late mile stock division on the break. McCaskill gets the advantage over Lemons. And look at Todd Gilliland. He'll pull even now with Tommy Lemons down the back straightaway. He'll go for second in turn number three. In fact, Gilliland might have arrived the lead off turn number four with four laps to go. Todd Gilliland looks to the inside on Deke McCaskill. This might be a Todd Gilliland come from behind win as he works off turn two. Looking to the inside, he'll pick McCaskill up off the racetrack. He'll make contact in turn number three. Up the racetrack goes McCaskill. Just three laps to go. It's a side-by-side -side battle for the lead. Todd Gillen, the inside of the racetrack. Deke McCaskill, the multi-time track champion at Southern National. The lock fenders, side-by-side, -side, smoke billowing in the turn number three. Gillen with the advantage with popsicle sticks in the air, Matt. Just great racing here. This is the late model stock car division of the Cars Tour. You can't ask for anything else. Can't ask for much more. McCaskill tried to repay the favor in turn two. Couldn't get to the back bumper. Can't do it in turn number three. White flag in the air for Todd Gilliland. It's a car length advantage over Deke McCaskill. McCaskill got moved from the lead by the bumper. Could he reclaim the top spot by use of the bumper? The gap's a half a car length in turn three. He sails it in. He makes contact, but it's not enough. Off a of turn number four, Sideways. Todd Gilliland is going to win the Cars Tour late model stock event, wow. followed by Deke McCaskill. Here he comes out of the car, his first ever late mile stock car win, Todd Gillen in victory lane. He'll pop the sparkling grape juice and he'll spray the photographers and everybody in victory lane. Todd Gillen, come around to the front of the car. Deke McCaskill dominated that race, led 140 some odd laps of the 150. Everybody, I think, here figured it was his race to lose. You got by Tommy Lemons. First, tell me how you got by Lemons because you had to try it time after time after time, restart after restart after restart. How did you get to second to have a shot at the lead? You just got to stay mentally tough, and my crew chief, Chris, was coaching me the whole way. He told me I could do it and just keep my, tire, my tires warm, and he was right. So you got by Tommy Lemons with just three laps to go. You chase down Deke McCaskill, who's got multiple track championships here, probably one of the most grizzled veterans in the field, and you use the bumper to move him out of the way. When that Take me through the whole thought process. Walk me through those last three laps. What's going through your head between him, the race car, and what you've got to do? Well, I was watching my mirror for Tommy Lemons, but uh, I had to stay on his bumper, and any little mistake he made, I had to capitalize, and I used my bumper a little bit, but got by him. Got by him, I guess. Final lap, turn three. He sailed it in like he was going to Mars. Got to you, but it didn't look like it was enough to upset your car. Were you expecting that? Yeah, I was. I had to drive it in a little bit hard, but I uh, had to just hit my marks and stay calm. Well, you did that, and congratulations, Ty Gillen. You are the winner of the inaugural Cars Late Model Stock Tour event here at Southern National. How's it feel? Great. Ty Gillen here in Victory Lane.